on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Victoria, I am so... Uh, enough. Enough, yeah. I just want to say I'm sorry. I understand. You didn't mean for this to happen. Believe me, I didn't either. You should have. You shouldn't have went after a hero killer alone. Don't get me wrong. You, you could have done things better. Like as soon as you saw. He was there, he could have called for backup or something, or saved the hero, then leave. He would have chased you then. You're way faster when you... <sighs> Please forgive me for what I did. I am sorry being so stupid for not using my head I was just driven by anger trust me I know I've been angry before what uh, yeah I know what anger feels like trust me you've been angry Let me tell you something. Back when I was a kid, I only thing I wanted to do was be a hero. Like most kids, anyway. But then I was diagnosed quirkless. Well, but that's not. Ah, let, let me finish the story. Then, Katsuki started bullying me when I was diagnosed quirkless. Before when he first got his quirk, I, as well as everyone else, was praising him, talking about how great he was, how his quirk was so amazing. And he knew that. He believed it too. But as soon as I, I was diagnosed quirkless, he changed. I talked about being a hero. He mocked me. Bullied me. <laughs> I was just pretty much one of his real first cheerleaders, I guess. And I was... He pretty much tossed me aside after... He doesn't even see me as a friend anymore. He sees me as someone who's just in his way. So yeah, I've been angry. The fact that I could be just tossed aside after everything we've done together, all the fun we had playing. I just don't, I just didn't understand. But I was so happy when I finally unlocked my quirk. It was amazing. But I was foolish. I practically gave up. But still taught a big game. What? <laughs> you see, despite wanting to be a hero, I did nothing besides study for well, these research quirks. Learning how this could be used for that, how this quirk is useful and everything, but <laughs> what that's all I did. I didn't know I was gonna get a quirk like this. That would destroy me. 
just because <laughs> I waited hoping that I would get a quirk and now I got one my body is just not strong enough to use it fully my body is still too weak I can't even access 100% of my power without risking my body getting destroyed by it do you want me to tell you how much of my true power I'm really using 5% that's how weak I am that I can only access 5% of this quirk it's not like you or the others though you do have drawbacks your quirk it, it doesn't have the potential to destroy you so bad that it could ruin your hero career. I guess Tokiyami is the exception, but the fact is, Dark Shadow has a mind of its own. Even Ayama, though, all he gets is really a stomach ache. <laughs> While my quirk has the potential to destroy a city, possibly. Possibly more. And I could only use a measly 5%. My quirk can destroy me if I'm not careful. And that. That angers me to no end. It. Staring me in the face as I. I <sighs> wow, Midoriya, I never. never knew this is how you felt. How could you? I. I never said anything. But. We never asked you how you were doing. But Koski bullying you? Yeah. Even now, regardless of me having a quirk, he hates me. I try to play it off like some joke or whatever, but he still. It hurts. It hurts. Almost, almost as much as this. Oh, man. I really hate the fact that I was diagnosed quirkless that day. I hate that I didn't do anything despite me talking. I was all talk. I didn't know I was going to manifest a quirk. Work. How I, I just hoped that I would one day. I, I, I had no idea. I didn't know what I was gonna do if I didn't manifest a quirk. I probably would have tried, maybe, yeah. But then I would have gotten killed at the entrance exam. I could have gotten injured or killed. I could have gotten people hurt I uh, I'm sorry it's just uh, come in are you all right mom wait how would you um Gran Torino told me uh right Mom, what's that book? Oh, it's a, it's a book about four heroes. And I thought, while you're here, I could read it to you. <laughs> Aren't you just the greatest? Yeah. 
But that's just because I have a great son like you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Well, um, eat, uh, you can stay. No, no, I'll, I'll go. It's, I think I'll just ruin the moment <laughs> if I decide to stay here, so, goodbye. Hope to see you in class. As Ida leaves with his head hung low as Inko sees flying back tears as well as anger considering that yeah she knows that yeah you're the reason my son is like this. As she begins reading the story about the four cardinal heroes. Suku loving each and every word, every paragraph. And when it gets to the shield hero, he wonders, Huh. Shield. A great protector. Who sh shields everyone and protects them. That's nice. Yes. As a bright light flashes and Izuku is gone. Inko freaking out. Ida running in. Is like wait what happens? Her shouting saying that Izuku is gone. Her baby boy has been kidnapped somehow. Right before her eyes. The whole hospital goes ballistic. Mainly because of Inko freaking out so much. Meanwhile, Izuku, still injured, appears. He's... Ah, no, 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 this is not my hospital bed. Him barely being able to stand up as, yes, Mochayasu, Itsuki, and as well as Rin, they're still there, just, just looking... <sighs> Who the hell are you? What's with the cosplay? This isn't a cosplay, this is my hero suit. Like I say, a cosplay. Oh, never mind. What's going on here? Wait, you're hurt? Ren is pretty much the only one that really noticed while the. Oh, yeah, I guess he is. What happened? Villain attack. I got hurt a little bit. That's a little bit. Wait, let me feel your. <laughs> Holy shit, that thing is broken. <laughs> yeah, a little. Uh, can someone please help? Uh, we need a doctor. Some. Yes, yeah, uh, some medical. <laughs> Magicians show up, start healing Izuku, him, feeling like, thank you so much. Him hugging the mage, they're freaking out, like, wait, wait, hey, hey, hold on, this, you, you do not have to be so nice. I know that, yeah, it's pretty much Izuku's nature. Yeah, wait, what's this? As he sees a shield on his arms. Huh. Wait. Him looking at the others. Isuki has a bow. Rin, a sword. And Motoyasu, a spear. Where, where are we? Them getting pretty much the whole thing. Like, uh, yeah, let's... Explain why you're here. Same thing with the introductions. Izuku just gets completely ignored. And whatnot. And uh, no, he doesn't really mind. He's used to being ignored. Oh, fuck. That's right. <laughs> anyway, when it comes to them actually conversing later, Izuku tells them. About the world he's actually from. 
where he had where people have powers called quirks. Them laughing it off saying, Ah, we don't believe you. Him showing up one for all. No, that has to be magic. Nope, this is my quirk. This is why I'm wearing this. So you're an actual hero? Well, in training I had I was I haven't got my license yet. You need a license to be a hero? Yeah. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Huh. That's... That's too bad, man. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. But sorry y'all had to pretty much listen to my boring story. Is Then... Boring! Your world sounds amazing! Where we're from, you had no power, superpowers, no villain, hero fights, none of that! And the whole thing of no you punching it with all you can and not bringing your. That was awesome! Them seeing as he blushes over the praise, it was like. Oh my god, wait a minute. Them just getting a closer look. Okay, he's blushing, for one. He's overly nice and seemingly trusting. He has amazing power. You're a cinnamon roll, aren't you? What? Uh, wait, do you know? No, I mean a cinnamon roll. I mean, you're one of the most purest people we can... We ever had the hopes of meeting? What? Like, say you're overly nice to someone. Wait, like Bakugo, that back Bakugo asshole. Yeah. What? No, he's not an asshole. He's just um passionate about being a hero. He told you to take a swan dive. Uh, I. I see how that's not the nicest thing to do. Yep, he's a cinema roll. I think the only reason why you were summoned here as a shield is pretty much to protect everyone. I'm fine with that. Or ally. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> Hold on, let me just get this. Here. What's this? It dictates that you are a certified cinnamon roll. Someone too pure for this world. <sighs> if anything, I kind of feel bad for not sticking up to you when they just ignored you. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> Yusuke is like, you must be protected. <laughs> C come on, switch weapons with me. I I'll I'll protect you. Like, no, no, no. This is the one I showed up with, so I should be the one to to bear the burden of protecting everyone. <sighs> okay, we need to we need to finish these, whatever they are. It's just so this guy can go home. He he needs to go home. This place is, might be too dangerous for him. Don't underestimate him. Huh? Yeah, don't underestimate him. Who knows how strong he really is. Well, the hero whose power I have similar to my mine is say destroying level. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he could destroy a city on his own. Nani? Really? Uh huh. And I think I have a quirk stronger than his. So you will be stronger than say destroying level, you say? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, okay. Good to know. Anything else you want to tell us? Um. Well. Hmm. 
No, not really. As then they get called to the king again. Again, Izuku is being hella respectful. This time everyone else is too, just to emulate the cinnamon roll. He's like, hmm. I don't know. Everyone, choose which parties you want to be a part of. Izuku, just like Naofumi, gets nobody.